It's slowly picking up here at Stowe Hill and here comes another one of our new boats. She's called Houston's Problem. You'll have to mind this one. This one's not one of our new boats, but in today's market, she's probably worth about 20,000. Houston's Problem is a 55 foot 2009 cruiser built by Jenny Wren Narrowboats. They also did the fit out. As we get a closer look, you'll see they've done an excellent job. She was last blacked in February 2022, so just last month. That was done with two pack epoxy. There was four new anodes fitted at the same time. They also serviced the side power 80 kfg bow thruster. That bow thruster has a dedicated battery and battery charger. We'll get a closer look at that in the uh, forward locker shortly. She's reverse layout, so you go on through the uh, through the stern deck. So big, quite a big stern deck, it's eight feet, so there's plenty of uh, outside space here. That cratch cover, the pram cover and the cratch cover were new in 2019. There's these storage lockers either side of the uh, rear entrance. They are both lockable, so you can store plenty of bits in there. And that's the view from the helm. She's fitted out with oak faced ply and oak trim to the cabin, hull and ceilings and there is solid oak flooring throughout. It's a series of shelves there next to the radiator. These chairs, these are two chair beds, there's Bumble sniffing them out and there's matching footstools as well. They sort of pop out as you'd expect them to. At the rear end you've got a 22 inch TV, that's on a wall mounted bracket that sort of swivels round. It's a cupboard under here. The rear steps do move out the way to access the other part of that cupboard and you can also access the water pump. All the electronics are in there. And this cupboard, or what appears to be a cupboard, is actually a rear shower room. There's a Thetford porta potty in there and a shower. That'll come in useful on rainy days. You can come in from the uh, from the stern deck and have a quick shower straight away. Should say the saloon is 14 feet 2 inches long. Galley is next, that's 8 foot 2. Got the skylight above. Head height there is 6 foot 6. 12 volt cool box, sorry 12 volt fridge with the ice box. There is a 12 volt cool box at the back actually, a little cupboard there. Got a microwave and mini oven and grill, they're both 240. Got the cupboard and some drawers beneath that. Quite a big worktop area actually. Stainless steel sink, another cupboard below that. Bumble still checking it out. View down into the saloon. Here you've got a dishwasher that is a Flavel FDW60. It's a full sized dishwasher. You've got the side hatch there. So, with the side hatch and the skylight, you've got plenty of uh, fresh air and light flood in this room. You've got the Heritage Diesel Fire Range. There's a little bit of storage next to it, but that's mainly access to uh, to the electrics for the uh, the range. Next is the bathroom. The bathroom is six foot nine. It's a ceramic bowl basin, a Jabsco pump out toilet. Bumble here is modelling where you could put a shower or a bath. The boat originally had a bath, and that was removed to make way for the the new owner to put in a, uh, a shower or bath. The present owners also had a dishwasher in here, so there's a, a washing machine, sorry. So there's plenty of room, plenty of options. Got storage here as well. It's these lovely porthole bungs, they're 16 inch portholes, so they're really quite large, letting a lot of light, and you've got the covers as well cupboard above the bed. The bed is six foot four by four foot and it does have the option of being extended as well. The, bar, the bedroom in total is nine feet. Got a full height wardrobe there. 
fumble in the way. Little cupboard down below. And that's the 12 volt cool box there. That is portable, so it doesn't have to live in the uh, the bath, the bedroom. But if you want it to, you've got access to midnight snacks. Out onto the well deck. Well deck is four feet. This boat is gas free, actually. So you've got a little bit of space in here. You've got your bow thrusters. But where the gas would usually be in the bow locker as well, there's even more storage space. Let's have a quick step out there. That's that's all storage in the front. There are four 110 amp hour domestic batteries and one starter. There's also that dedicated battery for the bow thruster. Hot water is supplied by the Heritage Range and Immersion. There's three radiators and the heated towel rail as well. That's for the central heating. 400 litre presumed stainless steel water tank and then 240 power is supplied by the 3.5 kilowatt travel power generator when you're on the move and also a 3 kilowatt surge power inverter so pretty well kitted out in the power department and then we're just going to have a quick look at the Barrashire 40 horsepower engine it's a PRM 150 gearbox there's your batteries in there as well. And there she is. So that's Houston's problem for a fully downloadable colour brochure, spec and photos. Visit our website at www.rugbyboats.co.uk and that's a final little picture of Bumble there.